This is Peter Haig, and this is the scene outside the Dorchester Hotel just before Britain's top show business awards were presented. The ever faithful fans turned up despite the rain, and they screamed just as they do when the sun shines. Naturally, the Beatles were there, and inside, before the official presentations, they found time to interview themselves. Exclusively, of course. Now, George, how does it feel to have uh, silver out? Well, by gum, Paul, it's re gum nice. Yes. Especially as how they've given us one each, you see, because usually they just give us one, but, and we got to cut it in four bits, you see. Thank you, George Harrison. Yeah, thank you. Uh, thank you. Ringo, yes, how sir. do you feel? Oh, I feel very honoured. Honoured indeed, I'm pleased. <laughs> like Mr Lemon. Uh... These silver hearts are given by the Variety Club of Great Britain, which in less than 15 years has raised a staggering sum of over one and a half million pounds and given it all to help sick and needy children. Then the lads met the Right Honourable Harold Wilson, who came to present the awards. Before the ceremony, Mr. Wilson and the Beatles were made members of the Variety Club. The insignia of office includes a tie. No, he's a member. <laughs> <laughs> then it was my privilege to introduce the award winners. Who do you think, ladies and gentlemen, might be the show business personalities of 1963? Right through your mind now is running just one word, Beatles. You'd be absolutely right. Never before in the history of show business in this country, or perhaps in any other country, have four young men captured the imagination so strongly. They've dominated the international scene in Europe and in America. Anything anyone can do, the Beatles can do just that little bit better. I happen to know today that the Mersey sound has captured America to such an extent that they are now running one, two, three, and four on the American pop scene. <laughs> They have been called by commentators crazy bugs and inspired insects, but to us they're John, George, Ringo and Paul, the Beatles. Somebody's got to say a word. Just with the last Yeah. 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 Mr. Dobson and the ah. press. Ah. Uh, no. uh, <laughs> just like to say it's it's very nice indeed to get, especially to get one each because we usually have a bit of trouble cutting them in four. <laughs> I'd just like to say thank you very much. It's a great honour. Uh, same goes for me. Thank you very much for giving us this silver heart. But I still think you should should have given one to good old Mr. Wilson. <laughs> um, ring out. Anyone who knows us knows I'm the one that never speaks, so I'd just like to say thanks a lot. <laughs> I'd just like to say the same as the others. Thanks for the purple hearts. <laughs> Silver. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that, I won't. 
we'd like to sincerely thank you all, and uh, we've got to go now because the fella on the film wants us, and he says it's costing him a fortune. <laughs> <laughs> thank you.